yapacağım. Okay, now let's try to do this uh, practice question. Okay, let's discuss the answer. Give the structural formula for three isomers C4, S9, BR, which can be classified as primary, secondary, and tertiary. Okay, let's draw C4, S9, BR. Okay, give name every time we uh, make the uh, the isomer. Yeah, you should give name, yeah, because otherwise you can make the, uh, the same structure. Okay, this is one bromobutane, yeah? And this can be classified as primary. Okay, now uh, let's move the position of VR to this, to bromobutane. Okay, this is the secondary. Yeah, this is VR, attached to the C, they connected to two, uh, two R groups. And then uh, under the, yeah, there will be no possibility if we still prevent the straight chain. Now uh, let's change it to greens. <coughs> Okay, this is one bromo to methyl propene. Okay, this is <clears throat> still primary. And then we can also change the position of PR here to create a tertiary. Okay. Identify which of these isomers will react with aqueous sodium hydroxide almost exclusively by an SN1. SN1. Is tertiary, yeah. So this. Explain the symbols in the term SN1. Nucleophilic substitution uni, unimolecular. Since only the concentrations of halogen or alkene affect the rate of reaction. Okay, see, using the formal RBR to represent bromoalkene, write an equation for the rate determining step for the reaction. So, RBR, SN1, yeah, slow to form R plus with the R, the R minus. Okay, so this, how to answer the patients. Okay, now uh, show the mechanism for hydrolysis of to chloro to methyl butane by alkali. Okay, let's answer this. One, two, three, four to chloro to methyl. Yeah, so this is a tertiary halogen alkene. Okay, the first step is when the CCL bond break. to form halogen alkene, uh, carbocation, I mean, with Cl minus. Next, O is minus, will attack this carbocation. Look how uh, I, I draw the curly arrow. It is from the lone pair from the nucleophile to the C positive. Okay, once again, you should draw the correct curly arrow, yeah? This should be negative, this should be positive so because the heterolytic fission uh, formed yeah, during this lower step. Okay, this is fast to form, to form this compound. To methyl butane to all. Okay, this is... Uh, as on one mechanism for this question.
Let's try this. Okay, let's answer. Okay, this is not an elimination. Why? Because in elimination reactions, double bond uh, produce. Yeah, double bond produce. But you can see that, yeah, this just substitute Br with OH, right? <coughs> so this is not an elimination reaction. This is hydrolysis, correct? Yeah, since uh, water break uh, the CBr bond, this is not redox, and this is not SN one because this is primary halogen alkene. It should be SN two. Let's try this. The reaction between aq sodium hydroxide and one bromobutane proceeds by an SN2 mechanism. Okay, this is one bromobutane. This is a primary halogen alkene, right? Okay, primary halogen alkene undergo SN, SN2, yeah? What the first step of this mechanism be described? Attack by a nucleophile on a carbon atom with a partial positive charge. Okay, this is correct. A is the answer, okay? This is negative, this is positive. Yeah, OS minus, try to, to reach this, right? Yeah. Why B is not correct? Heterolytic bond fission followed by an attack by electrophile on a carbon ion. Oh, this is wrong. Yeah, the heterolytic fission does not occur at the first step. So this is very wrong as well. Also not homolytic fission since it is not uh, the free radical substitution, right? Uh, no UV light present as well. So A is the answer. Next question. Okay, let's answer this. As in one reaction of halogen alkene is correct. A nucleophile is substitute, substituted by an electrophile, no? Yeah, since uh, in SN1, obviously we need to use nucleophile, not electrophile. One intermediate is formed from two reacting molecules. Yeah, I don't think so. Because in SN1 reaction, yeah, the heterolytic fission formed because of uh, the CX bond brick yeah to form this carbocation right so if it is state one intermediate is formed it is intermediate this is one intermediate form is from two reacting molecules that that's from right because only one molecule yeah the intermediate is stabilized by adjacent alpha group okay this is true yeah is stabilized the intermediate is un uncharged no, it is wrong. It has positive charge, right? So C is the answer. Okay, let's try this. 